I've been a songwriter uh, since I was about 14 years old. The first songs that I wrote were quite terrible. I, was, uh, I grew up in the 80s. Uh, and uh, I lived, I grew up in a small town in northern Saskatchewan where basically there was two sides to the cassette box in the, in the pickup truck. And one side was Iron Maiden and the other side was Willie Nelson. And that's kind of how it went. And uh, the very first song that I remember writing was a, a Motley Crue-esque uh, ditty <laughs> called Break and Enter. And uh, it was about a girl who uh, broke into my soul and stole my heart at 14. <laughs> but it was mostly about her tight jeans, though. That was so, you know, a 14-year-old's heart. You can get to a 14-year-old's heart wearing tight jeans, ladies, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, the thing about music, I think, which is quite a bit different than, uh, than and in other art forms, it's a, it, and to my ears and eyes anyway, is that it's a very uh, direct, or it's an opportunity uh, for a very direct expression of the soul and of your thoughts and feelings between the artist and, and the audience. Mostly because if you're an actor, uh, you're speaking somebody else's words, and, and, and while you are, you are definitely putting your own person into that, you are not speaking your own words. If you're a painter, 
you are doing it in, sol in solitude and, and you paint and then people come and see that thing. They don't actually see you, they see the thing that, that you have created. With music, um, while I am you know, a huge, I mean I devour music, recorded music all the time, but the joy that I get as a fan being in the crowd and with a bunch of people watching this expression take place in front of you. The song is, will always be different, slightly different, it'll always, it'll always morph and change. And, uh, well, unless you're, you know, Britney Spears, <laughs> thing, like that. but I don't really, well, I won't get into my thoughts on it, that stuff too much, I don't think. The so the, the inspiration that I find being a songwriter is definitely in, 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 in a day-to-day -day sort of scenario, or just like walking down the street, watching a, a couple, you know, have an intimate moment in a park, or, or, or my wife, you know, is just saying something to me that's either uh, funny, which she's very funny, or uh, or poignant, and she's also she's a pretty smart lady. So uh, I uh, steal a lot of stuff from her. Um, uh, on April first, it'll be seventeen years. And uh, we've been married for ten. And uh, you shouldn't clap. Like some people are together for sixty years. I mean, this is nothing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> when you're young and in love and it's all new and there's butterflies every time the phone rings and all that kind of stuff, it's pretty easy to write love songs. But when you're, when you're 17 years in, um, they start to kind of sound like Hallmark cards. <laughs> um, and uh, the last thing I want to do is write a lyric that could be in any way remotely associated with, say, I don't know, Peter Cetera or somebody like that. Um, my, my inspiration from her, it's hard for me to express it um, in a way that doesn't seem trite or manufactured. So that song was totally inspired by her and, this, and, the, and the fact that we had both had this simultaneous dream. And one of the reasons why in that song, I don't know if you noticed, but I mean, there, there's no, there is no change in the, in the uh, chord structure or melody of that song. Once it starts, it's the same from start to finish. Musically, it was inspired by uh, bands like Noi and Can, German bands from the early and mid 70s, who invented a genre of music called kraut rock, and it's like very insistent, driving music, very droning, and it's just it's um, it can really put your head into a weird space when you when you get, you get hypnotized almost by it. The banality of like everyday day to day living how it's just, it sort of drones on and it doesn't really go anywhere and you can get hypnotized by it. As far as inspiring creativity, I think that really I don't, I don't have to look too far for it. I think that it's all right there in front of me. It's just a matter of like sort of picking from the, from the uh, cherry tree of, uh, of ideas that are, that are just hanging there in the sky and then you can just grab a few and make yourself a nice little pie out of it. The law I drew The more that I learn The more bitter the truth <laughs> Started thinking about something else all together <laughs> Let's try it <that> again <laughs> The sadder, the wiser The law I drew That you do, how your disappointments can bolster your proof. There is a God watching over us. Where'd you get your hope? How about your trust? Mine has been shattered. Ground to dust for the very same reasons that we've been discussing. Oh, Isabella, my thoughts are so wishful. I know you can tell when my words are this wistful. I swallow hard. Till they come out Can I change your world If I'm full of unreasonable doubt I've heard 
of this joy one cannot contain Is it something you feel or is it a charade? Is faith the aspirin to ease your pain? Or are you just crossing your fingers Jesus' name, Isabella, my thoughts are so wishful, I know you can tell when my words are this wistful, I swallow hard, still they come out, can you change my world if I'm full of unreasonable doubt Amazing grace how sweet it could be if you saved a wretch like me If I was blind would you help me and if I was lost, would you retrieve me? Oh, Isabella, my thoughts are so wishful. I know you can tell when my words are this wistful. I swallow hard. Still they come out Can you change my world If I'm full of unreasonable doubts I think that's a reasonable doubt